Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Game Time Go in this episode. After um, defeating the that tank, that pig shaped tank, uh, we're now being chased. Uh, well, not chased, but uh, someone's coming and we have to hide. So, anyway, remember guys, if you guys like this video, consider buying the game. It's a different experience when that plays it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the let's play. <laughs> Why am I so ugly? Someone's coming. Must hurry. <gasps> Who are you? But you must be. You're the prince. C correct. I am Prince Marcusan, ruler of Hamlin. And who might you be? Oh, you see, um... What do you think you're doing here? Huh? Oh, oh, no! <gasps> God! You mustn't! God! No! Oh, get away! Do not look at me! Get out of here, I say! You mustn't look at me! Go! Be gone! Wow. So the prince is the great sage. Got it in one. Just who in the world are you? Your Highness, you have nothing to fear. There's something we'd like to ask you. Something to ask me? Ah, I see. Now you know my secret. You mean to blackmail me. That's not it. We came to... We wanted... We need the Great Sage's help. Huh? Great Sage? You mean me? Yes, of course we do. You were one of the great sages who protected this world, weren't you? I am sorry to disappoint you. It was my father who was the great sage. He passed away 15 years ago. But you inherited his powers, didn't you? The great sage's powers? <laughs> you should not believe everything you hear. I was never good enough. How could I be a great sage? Me, of all people. I have no gift for magic. Huh? But you... <sighs> I think you've been here long enough. No one asked you to come. Now leave me alone! Go! There's something iffy about that lad, I reckon. Do you think? No doubt. He's broken-hearted. But which piece of his heart is missing? What that boy's lost is his belief, like. Sure as eggs is eggs. His belief? That's right. Folks can tell him how blinking handsome he is till they're blue in the face, but will he believe him? Not a bit of it. Lost his belief he has in himself and everyone else. And he calls himself a prince. <laughs> That's a laugh. He's just a sniveling little wimp. Come on. Let's go find that piece of heart. Right. <sighs> it's more trouble than he's worth. I guess we'll be going then, Your Highness. I know that man. But from where? Interesting revelation there. He knows Swain from somewhere. But straightforward we go, so does that mean we have to sneak back in when we get that piece of heart? So, the great sage is the prince himself, is it? And he's broken hearted. We have to do something, and fast. We need to find some belief. Uh, is it just me, or is it getting misty in here? No, you're right. Whoa. This is really something. What's going on now, all of a sudden? I can't see a thing. Huh? Wait a second. Hmm. There's someone there. H who? I can't see anything. What? Huh? Uh, where'd they come from? They're still after us. To our huh? right. Look. There's more behind us. Damn it. We're surrounded. Huh? 
just who in blazes do you think you are? And where in the world did you spring from? I will have answers. Huh? We could ask you the same thing. Mind your tongue, girl. You stand before an emperor. We'll take care of them, your majesty. Emperor? Stand down! I must discover how they came to appear here. And I shall not rest until I have done so. It is my sworn duty to know all that goes on in my domain. Come! Bring them to my chamber. We have much to discuss. Sir! Uh, huh? <sighs> <laughs> the more I listen to your lies, the more laughable they become. Are you truly trying to suggest that you're from the future? Is it really true, Swain? I'm not sure I believe it myself. There's no doubt about it. You saw the sorry state of the prince with your own eyes. The man you see before you now, on the other hand, he's the former emperor of Ham of Hamelin. Hmm. You shall tell more of this. Now speak. What becomes of Hamelin in the future? And who is this prince that you encountered? Uh he had long dark hair and blue eyes. Ha 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 ha. You must tell lies. You might at least make them credible, boy. Huh? We're not lying, he... Do you mean to tell me that my younger son will one day become emperor? Y younger? So that Marley Prince has got an older brother, has he? <clears throat> Look at this. This is your darling son, Marcuson, all grown up. This is the future emperor, Ham Hamlin. Hum. <laughs> It does indeed look somewhat similar to my son. Should you really be showing him that, Swain? I had to do something. He never would have believed us otherwise. Marcuson becomes Emperor. But what about Gascon? What will become of him? Well, you never really liked him much anyway, did you? He wasn't really Emperor material. Are you claiming that I don't care for my own son? I've had men in prison for less. Are you denying it? Surely not. Marcuson was the only son you ever wanted. How? How dare you? How dare you make such a claim? Your Majesty, something terrible has occurred. It's Princess Scott and Prince Marcuson. They were not to protect, to practice their magic, but they haven't. But they have ventured beyond the city walls. Leave them be. They shall fend for themselves. But your majesty, think of the danger, and Prince Marcuson is still so young. You're not going to help them, your majesty? Certainly not. They must learn to resolve problems that are of their own making. That is a Hamlin way. You, you really just going to abandon your own children? Silence. But they're in danger, your majesty. If you won't help them, we will. Look. We don't have time for a staring contest. I say we leave this old fool to stew and find those kids. What did you say? We'll continue this later, shall we? So, looks like we did a bit of time traveling somehow. That mist took us between times. And that brings up one of the questions from earlier that um, Shadar was talking about with the Empress or whatever that girl is. I forget her name. Um, that always comes in the cutscenes with the group with that council about that Mornstar thing. Shadar said that it was hidden through space, time, and a different dimension, if I'm not mistaken. So we're in a different time. Does that mean we'll be able to see this Mornstar, this Mornstar wand? That brings a question to me. And then Swain himself. I think a little weird, uh, as he said. Um, you never really cared Mark much about Gascon, did you? This way, so how does he know he had an older, a younger son and an older son? You know, lots of questions to mind. I wonder if there's like special weapons I can buy now that I can't buy in the future.
tempted to check out the stores I am. Maybe I can get some star drops. Hello. Sir, do you have anything good for me? Doesn't really look like it. Looks like everything's the same. 33, and this one goes up 41, but he loses a lot of precision or whatever that was. No need to upgrade these guys. I give this sword to Simba. I'll give this one to little little Jazz and Tanku. Can only buy one though. We'll come back later. You are raving mad, sir. You are raving mad. But not because they're low prices. Which is very high. Which I have to say, that five thousand dollar uh fine that they mentioned, five thousand gilder fine that they mentioned in the beginning when the prince first uh after the prince came out. Doesn't seem like a lot a lot because I mean swords and weapons cost about thousands cost in the thousands and food costs well who knows maybe maybe weapons are rarity here because the food actually doesn't cost that much well candy bar costs about 10 guilders so I don't know maybe the economy is just maybe that's like uh, 50 bucks or somewhere or something like that I don't know or 500 but anyway I tend to go pick up the shiny thing over here Now that I think about it, didn't that guy who need the medicine say, Oh, I got some shadow glass. Said the ingredients he needed was on the left side or the right side of the city, so maybe we'll find those during our travel while we look for Garskon and Markison or whatever. And this little guy's after me. Clinkity clank and a tin man. Here we go! And Jack a robot. Here Jack Robot. I'll go for the tin man. Hold on, guys. I got this tin man all for you. Well, another thing, remember how I was saying, if you were watching, I think it was the last episode of the episode before, I was saying that I wanted to what include the tin man into our team. Well, I decided against that because the tin man actually turns out to be uh, a star. A star, uh, a star symbol familiar, which, as you already know, I'm having enough time, enough of a hard time trying to find the star drops for them. So, we're under attack. Decide against that, Here go. since we have tons of star symbol familiars already. Here, splitter. To be doing pretty well against physical damage. Got my way, I'm getting this. Batman's out. Undertaker's out here having some fun as well. Ah, you next time. took away my fun. So, yeah, we, we're already having enough of a hard time with those star drops. So, don't want to get another guy in there and level him up just to not get one of those star drops. We're gonna avoid you, sir. We're gonna avoid you as well. We're gonna try to find these kids. It looks like they're in here. Which gives me the feeling we're gonna run into more dangerous familiars inside. Look, there! It's them! Come on! Now! Here goes! Oh. I just can't do it! Stop whining! Try again! Uh, huh? Be careful, Gaston! Uh, oh. 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 We gotta help them. Yes. Well, into a boss battle we were thrown. How did I know something like this was gonna happen? Uh. Stay calm now. Everyone nice and healthy. Before we go out there, I'm actually gonna start off with. Yeah, looks like everyone's fine. I'll cast one healing touch on Swain. I think Esther's got me on the healing. I'll heal myself with one. And he's Earth. 
So do the mighty. This is a mighty fire spell actually from the candy. Looks like. No. We're gonna drop a little Tanku actually now that I think about it. There we go. I'm not sure that's that the weakness, but. Definitely giving us a good attack. Well, this guy didn't last long. As long as I thought he was going to. Nice level up, though. I'm feeling, uh... Paul and Tanku are gonna get ready to a point where they need to metamorphose again. And little Jazz doesn't even hasn't even started yet, so... Phew, Cracky. That was a close one. Are you alright? You two are princes, aren't you? Your father is the Emperor. Yes, my name is Marcuson. Shut up, you fool. We can't go telling everybody who we are. Oh, so you're the brother. Oh, so your brother isn't going to tell us his name. Leave me alone. Leave you alone? You do realize that we're the ones who came and rescued you after you went off all on your own, don't you? Heh, no one asked you to. We were practicing magic until you until you lot got in the way, that's... That is? Uh, G Gascon, I'm hungry. What, already? Well, I suppose we better get you something to eat, then. Come on, you lot. Huh? Huh. You never make it back to Hamil Hamlin by ourselves. We better escort you. Escort us? Yeah, don't worry. You can thank us later. The two princes are now traveling with you. Now, since you guys are princes, would you happen to have any star drops? That's weird. I wonder if we get into a battle, will they, like, join in? Here goes nothing! No, it doesn't look like it. I was just, like, curiosity seeing if that would actually happen. Oh, we have some big things there. Where am I? Okay, there I am. Heal for me. You guys are low. Here you go, Mr. Heal yourself. Good job there, Undertaker. Is that it? Pretty much, yeah. Off we go back to Hemlin. I keep on saying Hamil every once in a while, it slips out like that. Alright, we made it. So far, so good. I wonder if that's pollution or just really, really bad location. All the green stuff around Hamlin. So, on we go. I really need to figure out where I can get some star drops, though. I really want those star drops for Little Jazz and for Gunther. And uh, I think someone else is a star level one, but they're all leveled up. They're all metamorphosed, except for Gunther and Little Jazz, so. I would really, really like to get some stuff for them. And now that I think about it, even when they're ready to metamorphose into the next one, I only have three and there's four of them. So. Gotta think about that as well for the future. He's getting another jumbo star drop as well. So how do we get these though? How do we? I seem to find the sun drops and the plant drops and the well the star drops and the sun drops the most. But these star drops are highly elusive to me. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know how that's possible. It just it just is. Are you lot still following us? But... But we've got to tell the Emperor that we found you. Huh. You want to see my father, do you? I wonder what you want from him. Actually, I don't care. Bye. Hang on one minute, man. We saved your skins back then. And you're going to thank us or anything? Thank you. You're the ones who should be thanking us for escorting you back to Hamlin. 
The flipping cheek of this kid. I never seen anything like it, man. Kid? I'm not a kid. I have a name. Gascon. Prince Gascon to you. Be sure to address me properly if we ever meet again. Now come along, Marcuson. Uh, alright. Gascon and Marcuson are no longer traveling with you. Who the blinking heck does he think he is? He's got proper wound up here. He has. So the two princes are called Gascon and Marcuson. There's something about Prince Gascon. Him. What is it? I feel like I've met him somewhere before. I guess it's my imagination, though. Oh, definitely. No doubt about it. You're, it's your imagination, all right? I, I guess so, huh? Now stop wasting time with harebrained theories. We need to get moving. <laughs> I admire your spirit. Not even... Not every child would see readily to refuse an emperor. I'm sorry, your majesty, but there's some things we have to do. Indeed, and yet your magical abilities are rarely outstanding. I realize now that I should never have doubted you. You understand that I am reluctant to let such a challenge slip away. Are you sure I can't persuade you to be Marcuson's magic teacher? Huh. Just as stubborn as I remember. Hum? What did you say? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but we really do have to go back to our own time. It's just... We don't know how. You wish to go back into your time, to the future. Well, breach time would be ideal, of course. Breach time? A legendary spell, one that allows the caster to take a leap through time. Alas, it has long been sealed away on the account of its power. Gee, that sounds like just what we need. I wonder if there's a way to, we could get this breach time spell. Hey, I heard about your new rule. Why can't I go with Marcuson and help him practice his magic? Really, Gascon? We both know you have in a single magic bone in your body. Marcuson is to become a sage. He will learn nothing from the likes of you. That's not true. I'll teach Marcus. I'll teach Marcuson magic. I'll help him become a sage. You'll see. He doesn't need your help. Your time would be better spent thinking of another role for yourself within the Empire. What kind of role are you talking about? Would you have me spoon feed everything to you? You must find your own answers to such questions. That is the Hamillion way. Fine. Come on, Marcuson. Let's go practice some magic. All right. <sighs> I'm sorry that you had to witness that. You're talking about breach time, Your Majesty. Yes. Now in return for rescuing my sons, I shall relate to you a piece of Hamlin lore. It states that spells required to travel through time is hidden in the tomb tombstone trials along with the wand required to cast it. T tombstone trials? I don't like the sound of that. The tombstone trials wind. Excuse me. The tombstone trials winds its way through a desolate valley to the northwest of here. At its end stands an ancient altar dating from the age of the sages. This is when you're this is where you will find the legendary wand Mornstar. Ooh. Mornstar. Prove yourself worthy of wielding that wand and you shall surely be deemed to cast Breach Star. Breach Time. Sorry. Be aware, however, that you can only cast Breach Time once in your life. If you go back to the future, you will not be able to return to this time. Do you understand? Yes, your majesty. We understand. We want to get more and start travel back to our own time. Your enthusiasm is admirable. Yet be warned, the tombstone trials is home to countless evil spirits. Take the spell and use it to keep the fiends at bay. You see the page describing the Arrow of Light spell. We sure will. Thank you, Your Majesty. So guys, I leave you here for this episode as we rescued Prince Gascon and Prince Marcuson. And we met the Emperor, the original Great Sage, from Hamil as we traveled through time. So remember guys, if you guys like this episode, consider buying the game. So it's a different experience from when that plays it. And without further... Uh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come back tomorrow for a brand new episode of Nino Kuni. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.